that's so hot. Mm, and scrumptious. I haven't had coffee in a week. <laughs> I've been sick for the past week. I think it was last Friday I got sick, so <laughs> it was horrible, okay? I was sick in the beginning of October, and now I'm sick again in the middle of December. Like, what? Why is my body trying to ruin my festive times for Halloween and now for Christmas? But I will not let it stop my festive Christmas vibes, so anyways, we're back to it. I feel a little bit better today. I feel a lot better today, actually, because I really felt bad last week, and I'm just, I'm ready to get back into things. I had planned and posted about my shop update and then the next day i woke up sick and so the shop update happened and i was just too sick to like do anything for it um so i wasn't even like promoting it like i had planned so that's uh, slightly devastating but i'm gonna pack my orders thank you everybody who um placed an order this video will probably be out by the time my shop is closed for the holidays so sorry i'll see you back next year for the shop but like the, a big focus in this shop update was this, um, these bookmarks that I made in collaboration with my granny. This is the traditional Maya embroidery. This is one that my granny did. Um, and I made it into a bookmark. And so all proceeds of this are going to my granny, an indigenous craftswoman. Um, cause it takes her a lot longer now to create these embroideries. So I want to help her however I can. So all the proceeds of this bookmark and it has a little tassel and rounded edges i really love how this came out like it looks so cute and i can do different ones in the future with different patterns so so exciting i really love how it came out but um yeah i've got to pack my orders today and i'm also feeling very festive this morning i i was facetiming with my um, mom and my aunt because my sister and i sent some stuff in a box um to them so they just received it and they were unpacking it and my cousin's child showed up like had just come home from school and she had a christmas party today at school and i was just feeling i was just having all the memories coming back of like my christmas parties at school which were just great phenomenal they were so fun they were like so festive oh, and so i was just feeling very nostalgic today i'm gonna pack some orders but i still need to take it easy because i'm still i'm not 100 percent back to normal yet but i also feel very christmasy nostalgic and like today would mark the end of school and you know time for christmas break and so i'm feeling like those feels where you just come home and just play games for the next like couple weeks so i want to pack my orders and then play some games and then it's a beautiful rainy day today so i might go out and go to a little bookstore because that is the vibe i finished a book last night one that i'd started while i was sick and then i got too sick to finish it so um i finished one last night and so i'm like i need a new book to read so i feel like we could have a cozy bookstore moment right so we might go to a bookstore might go find a blind box because you know i love a blind box and you know i think i deserve a blind box i've been sick this whole time okay let's have a great day together
Thank you so much to Highrise for sponsoring this video. So on the theme of nostalgic games, I started playing this one that reminds me of games that I used to play in my early teens. It made me so nostalgic. High Rise is a metaverse experience where you can use different items to create avatars and you can also build and create the rooms that they populate. Uh, there are so many different items available to express your style with. Literally like endless options. They're so freaking cool. I wish some of these existed in real life, honestly. I wish I looked as cool as these avatars. You can also meet people and compete in weekly events and player made games. You can show off your outfits and the rooms that you create as well. You can download High Rise using the link in the description to join today. And if you're joining this December, you can get 20% off gold with the winter gold sale. So check it out, have a fun time. Might also give you some nostalgia if you're like me and used to play computer games growing up in the uh, 2010s. Thanks again so much to High Rise for sponsoring this video.
part Ukrainian and the only Ukrainian food I grew up eating was pierogies. I'm very particular about pierogies and I've never tried them fried like this. They've always been fried a different way. And this restaurant in like East Village kind of sucks. Like the service is like very, the few times that I've been there. Um, and I was there to eat and I think they didn't think we were because we were like really young, like college kids. And so they treated us so rudely. So I haven't been back and uh, good thing they have the little stand here so I can get some little pierogies. Okay, no more blind boxes for the rest of the year. See you next year, blind boxes. Unless I find a Japanese store in Chicago, which I'm not gonna actively look for one because I don't need any more blind boxes. Wow, gorgeous, yay. Mm -hmm.